It's been a while since I've done an Amazon Favorites episode, and with Prime Day coming up, I thought it would be fun to share some of my new finds that I've found over the past year that I'm really, really enjoying, and I hope that you enjoy too. So let's get right into the first one, which are some lamps that I recently purchased for this bedroom makeover. If you haven't seen the things that I've done in this room specifically, I tell you to go check out the episode. It's really good. We really elevated it, and it kind of shows where it's started and where it is now and the transformation is just so dramatic but we did it over time so these lamps you didn't see much of in the episode but i am totally loving them i found them on amazon what makes them really cool is not only does it have a really cool white texture on the base of the lamp but also it has two usb ports and so having the usb ports in the lamp just makes it so much more convenient to to plug in a charging cord and not have to like dig behind my heavy, heavy nightstand. So additionally, it's got like three levels of lighting. So it's like low light, medium light, and bright light, depending on how you like it and what time of day it is. So I found that to be super helpful. I went ahead and ordered the light bulb with the lamp. I did this for ease purposes, but when I tried out a different light bulb, I noticed it would kind of flicker. So I would just recommend getting the light bulb with it. It's an LED. I think it will last for a long time. I did Initially, putting it together was super easy. It comes in a kind of a compact setup. The way they've got it to assemble is something that I've never seen before. Basically, it had two round hoops with Velcro on it and you kind of roll it all together at the same time and it Velcros on the back on the end and it's like perfect like dimensions. It looked really great. And then you just attach it to the top of the lamp. And then you get two lamps in a set, the one that I got. And there are different configurations. There may even be different styles, but I really liked the way this one looked. I felt like it was a really, really great price. I just love it. I really like this lamp. I highly recommend it. So far, I am just really, really digging this and I wanted to share it with you. Next up, I found these art prints that were already printed on canvas and framed out with a simple frame. It's not an elaborate frame, but it just is really elegant. Now I've seen a lot of these art prints in Etsy shops. I've ordered actually some of them. I printed it out at a, like a photo center, then I find my own frame. I found this really economical because by the time you would print it out and find a frame for it, the price of it was very, very comparable. And I liked that it had the added texture, which on the photo paper, you obviously don't have the texture. I think that these were really, really nice. And they have about 29 or 30 prints to choose from. And then they come in like three different sizes. So I got the 12 by 16 size and this one was around $20. I thought it was really, really nice. It really has a high quality feel to it. I would recommend these and pick the style that works for you. There's just so many options to choose from, sizes, colors all of that. So I hope you like that as well. All right, so if you also watched my recent bedroom makeover, I bought some new greenery branches from Amazon that I absolutely love. If you've watched my channel for a while, you know that I'm a cereal plant killer and I don't do well keeping things living uh, in a pot alive very well. <laughs> But I still think that bringing greenery and faux flowers, faux greenery can bring life to a room. And I'm always trying to find ones that have a realistic look to them, that don't look cheap, but are still good quality, but have a really great price. And that's what I found in these branches. So they're very tall. So um, I think they're about 42 or 43 inches tall, which is almost four feet tall, but you can bend the stems down and make them work for your space like I did in mine. I used a dolly. Do you want to come say hi? Come here, you. Dolly wants to say hi. <laughs> she just went on a walk. Can you say hi? <laughs> yes. So the, <laughs> I lost my train of thought of what I was talking about. Okay, so the branches look really great. There's three of them in a pack. As I'm filming this, they're about $18 and maybe there will be a great deal on Amazon Prime Day if you're watching this after Amazon Prime Day. I felt like the $18 was a tremendous buy for the quality and the size of them. It makes them about $6 a stem, which I think is really great for how quality this is. So I love this. I think it elevates a room, but I think that you'll like it as well. So give them a try. <laughs> okay, how 
beautiful is this? I have recently been really getting into cut glass, especially vintage cut crystal, cut glass. I saw this somewhere, I don't even remember where, this little bedside water carafe that where the lid on it turns into like a little glass. So you can put this on your bedside table, have water, so if you need a drink at night, and then you can put the cup on top as a lid. You can use this in your bathroom for mouthwash if you wanted to, but I just think this is so beautiful. The price is really good as well. I wanted to share it with you because it's such a beautiful and unique piece and I love it and I hope you do too. This year I've been really trying to make a concerted effort to purge, get more organized and just clear out the clutter. And so I'm trying to do little projects here and there to increase the organization in my home. And I found these clear drawer organizers and I had to get them for my nightstand because my nightstand top drawer that I just, I, I just got rid of some old nightstands and replaced it with some new ones that's in the episode episode that I mentioned earlier. So this is a set of 25 and as of right now it was about $20 for the 25 pieces which is cheaper than Dollar Tree and the quality of these pieces are so nice. It comes with these little sticker pull off things that you put on the bottom of it that prevent them from sliding around in your drawers. They're like rubber grippers. Really keep everything in place even if you're opening and closing things are not sliding around. If you can configure them however you want, change things around, this will work for your nightstand. It will work in your kitchen. It's really flexible and that's the nice thing is you can just make it work for the space that you have. And so I just love it. And I felt like there were some really quality pieces at a great price and that's why I wanted to share it with you. So in addition to purging and organizing, I've been really trying to do better about self-care this year. I feel like a lot of times we as a society have gotten so busy, so booked, and a lot of times we forget to take care of ourselves, our bodies, our mental health, and all of that. We really put ourselves last. So I made a commitment at the beginning of this year that I would do things to de-stress and relax and really prioritize my health, my all well-being. And one of the items that I found at the first of the year was this amazing eye massaging mask. It seems like kind of like futuristic looking, <laughs> but it is actually really, really nice. If you get headaches, if you have a lot of, on your mind and have a lot of things stressing you out, it's really hard to feel that when you put this on. So basically it's, it heats up, it can play some relaxing music, it heated eye massage, it's so relaxing to do this in bed. It has buttons on the side to turn it on, there's a place to recharge right here on the bottom. I have found it lasts me pretty well. It's a great gift idea. My husband really likes using this as well. So you just turn it on and then you put it over your eyes. <laughs> this feels so silly doing this. Then it it starts to heat up, play relaxing music, and give you a massage on your temples, your eyes. It just feels so relaxing, so relaxing that I think that I need to take a pause and rest. Oh yes, I'll, I'll be back in a minute. I'm back. <laughs> that was super relaxing. And while we're on the topic of relaxing things, sleep is so important. I follow Mallory Nicholas over on Instagram if you aren't following her. She recommended these bed pillows um, a while ago and I was like, oh, are they really that good? She's like, no, these are the most amazing pillows. And I'm like, I don't know. I've tried out a lot and I have a lot of pillows that I really, really like. And then I went on vacation in April and we stayed at an Airbnb and I fell asleep on these pillows and I'm like, oh my word, I slept on them. I'm like, these are the most amazing pillows I've ever felt in my life. And my husband was like, you are right. These are the most amazing pillows. So at the Airbnb, I unzipped the, the cover on them, looked at them and they were the very same pillows that she had recommended. These really are super, super comfortable. They are Beckham Hotel Collection pillows. They are so super, super soft while still being supportive. They're not overly stuffed. They are really, really comfortable pillows. So if you're looking for a good pillow, you definitely wanna check these ones out. The Beckham Hotel Collection pillows are 
absolutely amazing. You gotta try them and I hope you like them just as much as I do and Mallory too. So there's an item in my living room that you haven't ever seen. Even though I've done like living room makeovers and all of that, I found a new device that is so much fun. And I, it's a really interesting piece. It's like a radio, cassette player, turntable, CD player, and connected to Bluetooth. And it has a mid-century vibe to it. It has a very vintage feel. Now, it does come in three colors. I have the one in espresso and I love it. The speaker quality is really, really excellent. I primarily use it with my Bluetooth so I can listen to podcasts as I'm working or I can listen to my playlist. It's really, really good. All you have to do is, you know, connect it by Bluetooth, which is pretty easy to do on an iPhone or your smartphone and you can listen to all of that. In addition, if you have old CDs, old cassettes, old vinyls that you want to, to play, you can do it all on this as well. And it looks beautiful. It doesn't look like a, a clunky old um, speaker system. It has a very classic vintage feel. It's a showpiece and I have absolutely loved having it and I wanted to share it with you. Okay, so this bathroom makeover that I'm doing on my primary bath has been taking a little bit extra time for just various reasons, waiting on things to get shipped and, and many reasons. So you've seen a couple of precursors in like the cabinet video that I did and some of the other episodes that I did. And in one of the episodes, I talked about doing some round mirrors. Well, my husband's like, I'm not sure that I want a round mirror. I, I want more mirror space. And so I'm like, well, I've been wanting to order these ones off of Amazon. I ordered them. They are beautiful. It's got an arch. It's so gorgeous. My bathroom's not ready to display it yet. So you're seeing it here to see what it looks like. Uh, get a feel for it. it. Comes in a couple of different sizes, several different shades of color. It's just a very classy look and I cannot wait to have it in my bathroom and share that with you. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, hit the subscribe button because that's coming up very soon and I would love for you to view what I've done in the bathroom. Also a little preview of what's coming in this bathroom makeover is I really wanted to put in washable rugs in my bathroom. And I wanted them to look like regular rugs. That's why these new washable rug options, they're getting so good and they have classic prints, but you know that if I spill makeup on it or whatever, shampoo or hair product or whatever, I can toss it in the washing machine, get it nice and clean. I found this print and I really, really loved it. If these colors don't work, it comes in a lot of different options, obviously in all the different sizes, but this is the one that I selected and I love it. I love the idea of having a classic filling rug in the bathroom that feels a little bit more elevated than that. But if I get something on it, I can throw it in the washing machine, get it clean, and it's good as new. So previously, I had a kind of like a wire laundry hamper basket thing that it just always looked cluttered and messy and not tidy, which kind of goes against my efforts to make things look more organized. And I I knew I needed to switch out the old laundry basket and replace it with something that would enclose it all and I wouldn't have to see it. So I found this one on Amazon, this basket, and it had a liner, it had a lid, and so you don't see all of the laundry that is inside of it, and I love that. It was really easy to assemble. It looks so nice. It's really cleaned up that little corner in my bedroom, and I just am so thrilled with that, and I thought I'd share it with you. Okay, so back on to the, like the wellness thing. Uh, many of you who've been following my channel for a while know that I had some pretty significant health issues several months ago that put me out of commission for a couple of months. You guys were awesome and so supportive and I was so grateful to you. Since then, I have really tried to make a lot of very conscientious decisions on what I'm putting into my body and how I am taking care of my body. I've always liked nut milk, um, like almond milk and cashew milk and all of those. If you look at the labels on the stuff on the shelf, I was like looking at them and I'm like, what is that? What is that ingredient? What, what is this? You know, there are so many different additives that they, and preservatives so that I just didn't know, but I still felt like it was a good option. Well, then I came across an 
almond cow and I was like, oh my goodness, I have to have this. So making nut milk from home beforehand, I would have never done because it's too messy. It was just way too much work and more than I had time for. And then the almond cow came along and it's one of my favorite discoveries I've come across in a while. It is a little bit of an investment, but I calculated it out with how much almond milk I, I was drinking and I would have had it like paid off for in like nine months or less easily. And on top of it, the added benefit is, is that I control the ingredients. I know what's going in it. It's super, super easy. So you can do it instantly. You don't have to soak your almonds, but you will use more almonds that way. You'll use a cup. If you want to soak your almonds for four hours, you can use a half a cup of almonds, which means less ingredients. And it also is a bit creamier. Then all you have to do is put all the ingredients in there, push a button to start and it blends it up. Then the cleanup is super simple. It's all stainless steel. So you just rinse it off. And then I take the pulp and I spread it out on a cookie sheet, put it in the oven and bake it at about 200, 220 degrees for a couple of hours till it just starts to get toasty and there's no moisture in it. Then I let it cool down. Then I blend up that pulp and turn it into a flour. And then I've got almond flour that smells so amazing because it has a little bit of the date in there it's been toasted and then you can take the almond flour and turn it into muffins or cookies or whatever you want to use it for and then there's like no waste I know it's a little bit on the pricier side but if you are a big nut milk drinker then you are going to love this and it will pay for itself pretty quickly and then you will know exactly what's going into your nut milk and in your body I, I'm so glad I discovered it I am so obsessed with it I just love it and I think it's worth every penny. Now, I don't know if this is true. I haven't really gone out and verified it, but I've been hearing that like all the cooking sprays that are in the aerosol cans have added like petroleum in it and some other weird ingredients. And you know, for me, I was like, you know what? I'm just not even gonna mess around. So I went ahead and bought this cooking spray pump off of Amazon several months ago. And now I can put my own olive oils or avocado oils or whatever oil that you want to use really. And you put it in there and spray your pans. You can put spray that out outside of like a chicken and you know exactly what's in it. So I guess I'm just <laughs> really trying to be more intentional about what I'm putting in my body big wake up call, you know, that's just me. And if that really speaks to you, I've linked that below. At the beginning of the year, I did an organization video. And in that video, I did some spice jars and I ordered those off of Amazon and they come with labels. They're coming clear jars. They've got labels for the top, labels for the front, and they were beautiful. And they pretty much have every spice that you can think of. And the price was really good for all the jars. And having that consistency has made it finding spices so much easier. It's more aesthetic. It takes up less room because there's not a lot of odd sizes and it's just nice, clean, consistent. So I've really enjoyed those spice jars and that is why I've included it in my Amazon favorites. Also in that episode, I did some magnetic fridge shelves and you would be so surprised at how strong those magnetic fridge shelves are. They are so strong, but you can still move them around and adjust them as needed. You can take advantage of that side refrigerator space. I didn't have a ton of like, side of the fridge exposed but sometimes you can have like the entire side of your fridge exposed and that can be turn into some valuable real estate so i know it comes in several different colors i got mine in black i got i think a three pack but they come in two packs and four packs they've really added some very important storage for me i really needed a space where i could get it and this was one easy way and i have really enjoyed that and that's where i'm storing my cooking spray as you can see so the next one is is actually this top that I've been wearing for this episode. It is linen, it's in a white, but it's kind of like a more ivory type of white. And I just love it. I love the ruching in the back. It's got like a little ruffle. I love the button down. I have it rolled up here. It's very breathable and light and works well for like summer time weather that we're in right now. But I think this top with a sweater or a blazer would look really, really cute. It's one of those that you can dress up with dress pants or even have like 
it on with denim and it works great for a date night. I don't know, the reviews are kind of hit and miss. I don't know if it's the other colors. I haven't really read them, but I personally love this one. I can't vouch for the other colors. I think it's really, really pretty. I love it. It's very classic and, and timeless and never gonna go out of style. And so I thought I'd share it with you. Okay, so I am a girly girl but I do a lot of things that are really hard on my fingernails and I couldn't like just stomach the price of getting a, a manicure because it just didn't make sense for me with me building stuff, painting stuff. I'm like really hard on my fingernails. I've tried painting them. I've tried many, many different press on options. And this next one is what I finally landed on. And I am just so blown away and happy that I finally discovered them. And the next three Amazon favorites are all kind of to do with the nails. Because if you're like me, you want the pretty nails, but if you're hard on your hands, then it, it just doesn't make sense to have a manicure. I don't know if you can see this, but this is like a $6 manicure. So <laughs> I love it. So these are Impress nails. And these are like, I think we're on day seven or eight. and. In those seven or eight days, I've painted, I've built stuff, I've gotten like wall paint on them, they've come off. I have used and abused these nails and they still look really, really good. So you start with your fresh nail and what I like to do is take a like a sanding sponge or a nail file and kind of rough up the texture a little bit. Then you're gonna take some alcohol wipe or any kind of alcohol. I go over it two times with the alcohol just to make sure that it's nice and clean. And then it brings me to my next Amazon item, which is Jellish. <laughs> now, I've only found this on Amazon, but this part is a critical for making these nails last. So it's like a nail bonding prep. And I do two coats of this. It's very much like an alcohol consistency it's, and it like absorbs and soaks into the nail and dries almost instantaneously. I do two coats of that. And then what I do is I take the Impress nail and this is my favorite color right now, which is called the platonic pink. I just think it's a really nice, pretty color, but they have a whole assortment one of these ideas and $5 and 97 cents for like the package that includes this. So you, you peel back the little sticky tabs, stick it on your nail, press it down, and then you wait at least one hour. Now, a lot of times what I'll do is just put them on at night, sleep with them overnight. You don't wanna soak them in water. You don't want to get them wet or put on any kind of lotion. And then what I do is I find that I need mine shorter for what I'm doing. So you need to take an acrylic nail tip cutter to cut it down. And then I take a file and file down the edges. I just need them to be short. I can't have the long, that would really get in my way, but I still want to have pretty nails. I want to be feminine and cute for my husband. And I just like the way it looks very finished and polished, right? And now I can finally do all of the DIYs, all of the stuff that, you know, like building fireplaces. And these have lasted at least two weeks. I've even had them go as long as about 18 to 20 days, so that's pretty good. I mean, I don't think your manicure is gonna last much longer than that, that you'd get from the nail salon, and this is a whole heck of a lot cheaper. So check it out if you want nails that will stand up to DIY. And this is what I'm gonna be doing going forward 100%. I love it. Might switch out the colors here and there, but I'm really loving this. So part of my makeup that I have to do because the way I smile, like my lip like goes under and like wipes all over my teeth. So I wear like long wear lip coverage and that can actually really dry out your lips. And so at night, what I have been doing lately and it's my new obsession is I found this Babe Original Babe Glow Lip Mask. And I had been hearing about it from several different influencers over on Instagram. I got influenced. <laughs> so I finally broke down and tried it and it really is amazing so where the like the long wearing lip color really can dry out um, your lips this really plumps them up so at night i put it on sleep with it on and my lips have been looking like fuller plumper less like shriveled up that sounds kind of gross but <laughs> anyways i have been totally obsessed over this lip mask and i love it and i think that you'll really like it too all right that's it for my amazon favorites this time around if you have an awesome 
Amazon find that you want to share with me, I am always looking. I just love testing out products and, and seeing awesome things. So comment below with your favorite Amazon find that you think everybody needs to know about. I think we can all come together as a community, find some really amazing stuff. That's why I shared this. I'm not going to make these videos all too often unless you want me to make more of them because I really want to sift through what is awesome and amazing and worthwhile to you that I've tested out for a while and really, really do like. I hope that you found this helpful. Hopefully, if you're seeing this before Amazon Prime Day, hopefully you are able to score a bunch of deals on the items that I've listed below. Other than that, I even at their original prices, I have loved and enjoyed all of the things on this list and I hope you do too. And so if you enjoyed this episode, here's more Amazon favorites that I've listed in the past. They're different than what I've shared here. And to all of my DIY goddesses out there, you are more powerful than you know. We'll see you next time. Bye.